Right, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Like I told you right now, we're having a very inspirational man in studio. He goes by the name of Mr. Chris Diaz. He's the MD at KQ, that is Kenya Airways. Thank you for coming in, sir. Good morning, Grammy. I'm marketing director at Kenya Airways. Yes, marketing director. Yeah, yes, it's good much. to have you in studio today. Absolutely excited. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. How are you feeling today? Excited. It's a beautiful day. It is. And you know what? You have such an amazing portfolio. Let me say a list of credentials. It's a paragraph of the achievements this man, managing director KQ, has been able to make, let me say, in his lifetime. So let me just read a bit of it because, like I said, it's quite long for you to understand most of what I'm saying by inspiring. Now, Chris Diaz joined Kenya Airways on 7th November 2012. He's a fellow of Chartered Institute of Marketing, attained a Bachelor of Commerce, that is honours, in accounting, a diploma in marketing and a Master's of Science in International Marketing, that is in the UK. He's also a trustee of the Chartered Institute of Marketing, that is CIM, the world's largest marketing and professional sales body, making a difference for global standards. Also, uh, rather additionally, he is a member of the Brand Kenya Board, where he is charged with the responsibility of giving strategic input in activities to position Kenya positively to the rest of the world. And he was awarded the Head of State Commendation, that is HSC, and was honored by the Marketing Society of Kenya, MSK, with the Warriors and Fellows Award 2009 for successful marketing and supporting growth of world-class brands. And Chris Diaz has significant experience in the FMCJ sector and has a strong grasp of marketing to a global audience. You see how, how many things I'm reading here? <laughs> it's, it's too much. <laughs> you know, and prior to joining Kenya Airways, he served uh, Bitco Group as a group marketing director overseeing functions in communications and the list goes on. So um, we're very happy and privileged to have you here, sir. And uh, before you tell us about, you know, your whole journey and, uh, you know, basically the awards KQ is winning over millions of followers globally, you know, that whole aspect, we want to understand more about you, Mr. Diaz. You know, how on earth, let me say that, <laughs> were you able to achieve all this? I mean, you have a lot of accolades. You do many things glo globally, internationally. You're recognized, right? So, how are you able to get here? Swahili. Kabisa, Okay. So I was born in Mombasa and uh, I think uh, I'm truly African uh, mm -hmm. and, and I love Kenya and uh, it's all about leadership and it's a journey, a journey of uh, shared leadership, working with, with teams, working with, with, the, with the best people across, across the world. Mm -hmm. So it's been an exciting journey and I think that my mom first, uh, I have a lot of uh, you know, great uh, connection with my mom and my dad because the biggest value as a brand uh, is humility. Mm -hmm. And any leader that wants to really succeed and, and have a vision of going into the into the future, to, to build others and to grow to grow businesses, to be a strategist around marketing, mm -hmm. it's very important to have humility in all your business approach and in all your life approach, be it your family values or it be it your 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 style of management or your style of leadership. So mm -hmm. it's been a journey of, of working hard, on focusing, on commitments and also of being passionate and loving what you do. And this is the great thing about marketers, mm -hmm. is they're very powerful in communication, in communications, and they're very, very passionate in their executions, and they're very dramatized in how they articulate and how they, how they connect and how they emotionally go into the hearts and the minds of the consumers. So the journey has been, has been beautiful for me, and I'm mm -hmm. grateful to, to God and to all the supporters, to our customers, and have grown and one of the exciting moments was to to be associated with the Chartered Institute of Marketing mm -hmm. which is the largest marketing body in the world yeah. Yeah. And, and I really welcome a lot of uh, Kenyans and, and people across the world to become members of this this organization mm -hmm. because it was the one of the moments that I was recognizing myself self-awareness of what I can do and also be able to learn and to get skills and to get uh, knowledge 
that I am able to share and to grow businesses which I am associated with. Right. You. Yeah. Now, you spoke about humility as being one of those character traits that a leader must have, yes. right? And you spoke about loving what you do. So maybe you can expound more on that. You know, what are some of these traits that you embraced? to be where you are because I mean like I mentioned with your accolade it's no joke we don't take it for granted that you're where you are it's not by flukes that you woke up in the morning and you're the marketing director yes. for KQ yeah. so tell us about that so I think for every leader and all of us we are leaders and about leadership it's about about integrity about trust about engagements about relationships you build very strong relationships and about networking and then you have to be, marketing is all about being strategic and you have to look at the business, you have to look at yourself, you have to look at it internally with your team and you have to look externally with the markets. And then when you do global leadership and you do global marketing, what's most important is to focus on the segments and to have a targeted approach so that you are able to engage and you are able to communicate and position. And when I mean position, you need to be also realistic that you're positioning the brand or yourself as a personal brand to be realistic, that the total experience with your customer or mm -hmm. your partners is about bringing value. And I think this is where we have great Kenyans and really the Africa market is a huge opportunity of growth and you'll see branding and marketing playing a big role. And you see marketing is a big conversation, a big pillar of strength today in boardrooms. Most definitely. I mean, yeah. we will be looking at the whole aspect of how far Kenya in general is going or how it's doing out there when it comes to marketing its individuals or products, the international community. Yeah. But you've done, you know, uh, speeches rather or spoken to, uh, you know, students or let me say leaders, if I may say, uh, you know, in different institutions of the world, Oxford in the UK, uh, you know, you've done also talks in universities in the States. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, by the time you got to that level where you're able to, like you said, self-awareness to stand before such people and communicate and give your perspective on matters, right? Paint us that picture. How did you get there? Because like I said, some people wouldn't, cannot fathom the steps. What steps do you need to take in your individual life? You know, where you go to school? Uh, the, the causes you take, yeah. for example, you're a marketer yeah. to get to that point where you can speak and people listen to you in international forums. Okay, Remy, that's, that's a brilliant question. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, for many Kenyans, uh, they speak very well and they're extremely strategic. And you find Kenyans are very uh, aggressive. And wherever we go in the world, you find not uh, Kenyans in the diaspora or you find ourselves as Kenyans, we, we are very aggressive in all our, our approaches. Uh, and that is something that is much appreciated by, by the business communities globally. When you talk about communications and sharing uh, values, and you have to really research well. You have to go into, into your core subject and be able to understand exactly what your audience is looking for. Mm -hmm. And the audience is looking for three things. They want to understand uh, interesting uh, things that will benefit them. They will also want to know what to take away and they will also have a call to action that, and they, at the end they will have an impression about what you about yourself and what you uh, discuss but they want to go and develop themselves so it's very important to do very thorough market research and this is what i mean about strategic communication and strategic executions and that's why marketing is all about being innovative and be able to understand what are the global trends so you have to keep up with what's happening in different parts of the world and be ahead of your competitors so I think uh, when talking to these students, they are very, very sharp and very, very experienced and they do a lot of research. So you have to be ready for their questions oh, okay. and you have to give them really um, outstanding answers that will be able to provoke their mind and be able to make them grow. So they are looking for growth and they are looking for innovation and mostly they are very savvy on technology and marketers today have to really embrace digital marketing and be able to have mm -hmm. customer relationship management using technology which means that you can touch millions of customers on a targeted approach. Most definitely, and we have to highlight that, you know, yeah. the new forms, especially right now that we're in a digital age. But was that your defining moment? Well, I think my defining moment was, mm -hmm. was and I felt a lot of satisfaction when I was able, I have a level of excellence and I was able to give back to the community in a little way mm -hmm. by engaging with different uh, segments of the business, segments of uh, of students and segments of people and also learning from others and I think my defining moment is be able to go and sit on several of uh, 
very good boards and to give strategic input into, into the boards and working with, with, with really clever people and, and be able to, in a small way, to be able to see how they, they use your knowledge and your skills to be able to execute bigger uh, mm -hmm. campaigns and big executions. And that was at what yeah. age? Well, no, uh, sitting in a boardroom. <laughs> well, I started getting boardroom appointments at the age of 35. Mm -hmm. I'm now 45, so I'm sitting on several boards. But uh, with all humility, and I mean, it's a lot of fun. So I never work, I have a lot of fun. I prioritize. Because and, and you love what you do. I love it. I love everything what I do. And mm -hmm. I'm always measuring myself. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what good about leaders and about Kenyans. We're always trying to raise the bar. And, by, mm -hmm. and a journey is about raising the bar and going for excellence. Let's speak about the hard part, the challenges okay. that come with it. You know, yeah. um, like I said, before we look at the marketing aspect and, you know, uh, being at Bidco before, now at KQ. Yeah. Um, do, do you wake up some mornings and you just felt this is not what I'm, I really want to do? Or what kept you going at those particular times? Well, you had challenges. I think that's a brilliant question, Rami, and, and, and I think it's for, for everyone, each one of us must have a coach and a mentor. Mm -hmm. So working at Bitco, you work up, uh, wake up in the morning with, with a CEO like Vimal Shah, who's inspiring, who's brilliant, who's ever expanding his business, mm -hmm. who is recognized and rewards people. So, so you will, you'll find working with, in Bitco is an extremely exciting uh, journey. They have really big brands, their business is very successful. Um, so you feel you feel you're part of a family of a brand that's going you know places. It's an award-winning company, so they k take care of their people, and, and it's an exciting journey. Mm -hmm. If you look at KQ, KQ is one of the best places to work for because it's a big global brand. We have more offices in the world than I think more than even the government offices. So this is really um, an opportunity to engage with the markets across five, six continents. Working with KQ, you are beautiful people. We are very talented people. So you're working with very, the best of the brains. Uh, and this is an exciting journey. Again, uh, you're dealing with millions of guests. You have to make all these guests happy. To make everyone happy is, is a science and an art of... You have of to be happy. Yeah, and, and, then, <laughs> and then the marketers have yeah. to do the product design, mm. to take the customer experience to, to a higher level, and to have a high global rating. So I think waking up in the morning is always exciting because you don't know there's a coup in Thailand, whether the aircraft will not fly to Thailand. You have to communicate and you have to handle difficult situations. Mm. And that, I think, a challenge turns into opportunity, and then opportunity brings a lot of excitement to, to, make, uh, to make your customers and your guests happy. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, marketing, right? Yes. Um, when we come uh, right here in Kenya, we have many graduates, students who are graduating, you know, from marketing courses coming into the world and you'll find some of them saying, oh no, the job market is too flooded or this and that. So how can they become impactful in, you know, even uh, looking at aspects of becoming entrepreneurs, you know, um, in this particular sector, still rather in, in the marketing field, but spreading their wings, wings in a way that they can market Kenya even in the international forums and become household name, household names like yourself. Well, that I think is is, is so important. This conversation this morning for mm -hmm. me is to see how how the upcoming uh, marketeers can really excel and get into boards because with the foreign investments coming into Kenya and coming in Africa. Today, Africa is the second best uh, area for investments coming in. All the big brands are investing here, all the United Nations, all the international communities seeing Kenya in the heart of Africa is as a big opportunity. So this means there's a big pull, there's a big demand for great marketers. Now, if I tell you that Kenyans are great marketers, you'll be quite surprised. I don't know if you know that, but mm -hmm. from me being in the Chartered Institute of Marketing, you will see some of the best results in the world when they do the exams are Kenyan, Kenyan students. So you mean the caliber, the, the processes of these students coming to training through human capital capacity development is, is, is on the high level of excellence. And that means as they go into and getting experience working in large brands like you know East African breweries, mm -hmm. working for Safaricom, working for the bigger brands like General Electric and, and all these companies which have headquarters in Nairobi, Coke, they will get that experience and then they will grow themselves to do a master's program in marketing. They become chartered marketers, they become fellows, and they eventually do their PhD. So the, the whole process and program for marketing is very professional. It's very, it's a well-paying, it's a highly compensated uh, career. So mine is to encourage students to, to follow through on their, and have a great vision into marketing, mm -hmm. get into the boardrooms. There's a big demand and you're seeing many of the organizations now appointing marketing, marketing directors uh, in, their, in, their, in their 
in their businesses. For example, myself, I'm, I'm as marketing director of Kenya Airways. I'm the first, uh, I believe, marketing director in Kenya Airways because mm -hmm. Kenya Airways used to have a, a marketing manager reporting mm -hmm. into the commercial business. So definitely mm -hmm. you can see all businesses are taking marketing as strategic for expansion, for growth, and also for product design. Right, so when we come to Kenya as a country, where can we say uh, we stand in terms of influence in the international sector? You know, um, have we marketed ourselves to a place, <laughs> you know, where we are forces to reckon with in case, okay. you know, we do not have that information? Wow, that, 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 that is a, a very interesting question. For me personally, I think we can do much more. We have done well. Kenya traditionally has the best icons. You can see World Travel Awards. We picked more than 11 awards as a country, as Kenya. That's a big pride for Kenyans. We need to come together. We need to really, really work as, as a team. And we have great leaders. So for, to answer your question uh, precisely, in my opinion, I think we need more marketing uh, expertise that are already in, in Kenya to come together and to come into the boards and to join into the boards so that we also get fresh, new, innovative people bringing great ideas. And then also we need to work with different models of partnership. For example, the Kenya Tourism Board have different models of marketing. But the approach now is that we have, uh, and, and I must thank sincerely the President of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. and the government and the leaders and the CS and all the people who have supported to get a budget of 5.1 billion Kenya shillings mm -hmm. to market Kenya. And you know, the vision 2030 initially said we need about three billion or so Kenya shillings to market and and the organizations had about a billion so the resources to market the country have been limited but we can still do tremendous campaigns and position Kenya so strongly especially now when some of the foreign countries have started lifting the travel advisory so the opportunity is to position Kenya to do a big huge PR campaign and this uh, already I have seen uh, success because with my involvement with Brand Kenya mm -hmm. and my involvement in supporting the tourism uh, marketing they have brought in a PR uh, as you might be aware organization called Greylink so this is already bringing and uh, restructuring consolidations and the, and the tourism laws are now looking at both domestically and nationally, all the partners, that's Kenya Airways, Kenya Tourism Board, Kenya Invest, we're all coming together to market this beautiful country. Right, now that you're speaking about uh, tourism, right, are we likely to have, you know, more tourists <laughs> in 2015, 2016, you know, coupling it up with the visit uh, from US President Barack Obama, the UK had lifted uh, its, uh, you know, travel advisory burn. What do you think about that? I think it's going to be very exciting because we are looking we are looking at building uh, to to the two million three million mark of tourists uh, per annum, and as a marketing director, you have to be positive. You have to look at strategically how you're going to 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 be able to deliver these results, and this is all about positioning Kenya and positioning the attractions and also bringing investors because we need to take our level of quality of tourism in terms of our facilities to be of really high quality. Mm -hmm. We need to bring in the high yield. Uh, tourists, not only the, the, the budget uh, tourists, but we got to bring all segments and then we got to focus and, and really market into really big, uh, strong markets like, uh, like the European markets, the Chinese markets. And these are, uh, you know, markets like Russia and other new markets like, uh, like, like you know, KQ is now flying to Vietnam. They're opening the, the, the China markets, the Indian markets. All these tourists and investors coming into Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an opportunity also with Obama coming in, there's going to be a lot of partnerships that are going to be signed. The American uh, economy is, is a solid partner to work with Kenya and they give a lot of support. So intergovernmental marketing, infrastructure development, we really need to develop our roads, our airports. We need to expand our airports so that more, more people can fly in and we can handle and give a high quality mm -hmm. of service. So a lot of actions have to be taken. But I see positively to answer you, Remy that we are going to be able mm -hmm. to see more tourists coming into Kenya. It's a beautiful country. As you see, we won the best beach in Diani World yes. Travel Awards. Mm -hmm. And then we have the best, the eighth wonder of the world, the Masai Mara won an award. Again, Kenya Airways won best in business class. So you see a lot of the, the high quality mm -hmm. of facilities. Mm -hmm. We have brand new aircrafts. We have the youngest fleet in Africa. All this coming of tourists into Kenya is a big opportunity. But we are never satisfied. I mean, the World Bank says there are about 60 million tourists coming into Africa. And then when you look at Kenya, just over a million coming here. So the, the opportunity, the market is there. And we see with the marketing and the budgets, the resources mm -hmm. and the leadership now in marketing, 
I think Kenya is going to have a very big positive uh, future in terms of tourist numbers. Okay. Now, speaking about you know all the awards you've mentioned in the tourism sector, right? Um, at what percentage are we on? If you would give it between one to a hundred percent, plus, are we maximizing you know all these awards we have in the recognition we're getting from the international body fully, or what can we do to make sure, like you said, that we capitalize on? you know like, like you say expansion of airports yeah. uh you know intergovernmental uh let me say uh, yeah. interactions and the like yeah. you know give us that perspective well it's a difficult question to say because there are many series of reasons that are going to to, to be able to answer that question mm -hmm. but i can say that, that the resources mm -hmm. are in place the leadership is in place and we we got to we got to see a learning from mm -hmm. yesterday and look at at controlling tomorrow mm -hmm. and marketing kenya from from the future and I think Africa is the future and, and the opportunities that are coming into Kenya. And if you look at the investment coming into Kenya, into hotels, you can see Redison's putting a hotel, Kapinski's putting a hotel, the new lodges are coming in. And these are the signs that are showing that there's going to be a lot of excitement. Again, we have, we have great people, we have great leaders. So these are uh, opportunities also for employment. And as long as we can trigger and the government is focused on, on triggering growth and the, and the GDP is growing, we're going through difficult challenges time. But my, my, my aspect is which country doesn't have challenges? I mean, Israel also has got, has got a lot of security issues, but three million uh, tourists go into that country. So we got to manage our marketing really clever, really smart, and, and make uh, our customers go through convenience and see high quality and also unique differentiation marketing about the great things about Kenya. Okay, right, so let me go back to the whole aspect of you know graduates who are coming into the job market, yes. right? Um, in your perspective, do you think they are equipped enough to handle the sort of, let me say, tenacity, the sort of, uh, you know, uh, workload if i may call it so you know with passion <laughs> that is within the market sector because um i'm sure you've heard this before the complaints of the job market being flooded not enough entrepreneurs coming out of the system or half-baked graduates leading to some you know in some sectors or you know some systems where uh, you know they have the information but they're not practical okay. so what's your take on that Okay, great. Well, that's great Kenyan coffee. I love that. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I can share with you that, that we're going to have challenges, but we've got okay. to be positive. And all marketers are always positive, and we've got to create opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that there will be a lot of graduates coming to the market, but mm -hmm. with the help of, of all stakeholders, that includes the government. And we have got to be positive by allowing investors to come in and encouraging investors, making it easy for them to, to be able to grow and to existing brands and to bring new brands there are a lot of brands coming into africa facebook uh, new brands are coming into the in, into the region so they are putting their headquarters here and that means uh, that africa through nairobi will be able to see more jobs coming through so it's a difficult question there, there's a lot of opportunities but there's also there's also you know a lot of uh, a lot of people coming out of universities so they have to move into entrepreneurship and that's why you see we have to encourage young people to go into marketing because mm -hmm. by, by being strong marketers they'll be able to sell and get the revenues and they'll have their profits in place. Okay. Yeah. So I think we must encourage youngsters mm -hmm. to really to really be focused on and, the marketing. And like you said earlier, they need mentors. So I think that's where yeah. it all comes to play. Uh, you know, right now, of course, we have a lot of tweets coming in, okay. Mr. Diaz. And um, <laughs> some, some people are asking, you know, can you mentor them? Some young people are curious to know, you know, um, is there a program of sorts you have? And also being a mentor yourself. Yeah, sure. And the whole aspect of how can uh, Kenya be made into one of the best global destinations in the world? as we speak. So maybe you can take those two, you know, questions there. So the first question is a great mm -hmm. question. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I'm happy always to share knowledge and to, to be a coach and, and to pick certain individuals mm -hmm. uh, and a balance between different segments of, of, of people who want to be coached. So that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. If I'm not able to do that, we have a pool of, of great uh, marketers from Marketing Society of Kenya. We have uh, great marketers from the Chat Institute of Marketing for the Kenya office. So we're able to, to pick coaches and they'll be able to take them through career paths. So they, so they get their diploma, they get their, their bachelor's in marketing, they get mm -hmm. their master's in international marketing, they're chartered in marketing, they are fellowship in marketing, and we take them to a program of continuous professional development. 
and then we take them to the level of getting into their PhD program mm -hmm. and then getting recommending them into boards and also identifying them with some of the big corporates because all the corporates are asking for great marketers and for sure we would like them to take all these big uh, roles in the organizations. Okay, and yeah. the second question was on tourism. Uh, how can, uh, you know, can you be made to be one of the most, uh, you know, best rather, one of the best uh, tourism destinations in the world? Well, for, I would answer that question that Kenya is the best and, mm. that, and if you go anywhere in the world and when we do the marketing and we would like to, to engage some of these people to have the experience how the marketing is done so they should, should communicate and contact us. We have pro programs when you go out to Berlin, when you go out to London and intra Africa, the biggest opportunity of making Kenya one of the greater opportunities of tourists coming is intra Africa. The, the Ugandans coming into Kenya, over 55,000 mm. per annum come as tourists into it into Kenya, the Nigerians, the South Africans. So we would like, we would like to see more leaders coming and working and I, I would like to challenge the Kenya Tourism Board mm -hmm. ourselves at Kenya Airways to take great marketers. In Kenya Airways we have a global marketing team. I myself am looking for, for great marketers to join Kenya Airways uh, global team. So they will be able to go out, fly out to different countries in the world and be able to see how the segments and then engage with events and engage with travel partners and to bring more more tourists into Kenya but Kenya we have to be very strategic we have to do very solid campaigns we have to understand what the consumers are we got to improve our product design so as to give more value because for example conferences is a big tourism aspect tourists come in for mm -hmm. multi-purpose they come in for meetings and then they go to the Mara for the weekend so you so you have to uh, develop the conference the mice product you, you lots of people are looking for spas for relaxation they sports marketing to bring a lot of tourists to come here for to, to go Kenya is a great sporting nation we need to have bigger sporting uh, events in Kenya so there's a lot of marketing to bring people to, to experience Kenya and I think this opportunity means that we have to bring ideas from all Kenyans and that's why I said is let's bring a fresher approach and let's have more leaders coming to to work together as a team and we bring Kenya as one to market mm -hmm. as, as a great destination in the world. Right now let's take a look at uh, you know some couple of uh, you know aspects you're involved in like for example Brand Kenya, yeah. KTB, yeah. you know your stint at uh, Bidco you yeah. know uh, before 2012 when you joined yes. uh, you know uh, Kenya Airways. How was it there you know um, yeah. when you're speaking about strategic plans when you're uh, looking at uh, you know uh, the marketing sector from that perspective you now before you joined the airlines how was it back then? That's a very good question. I like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Remy, you see, I'm still a non-executive director at Bitco. So from a perspective of an FMCG group, they have transformed from more of a manufacturing organization now into a more strong marketing organization, employing nearly 4,000 plus people mm -hmm. across Africa. So they have a strategic approach. They're well researched. They, they, they use the best research companies like Nielsen, Ipsos, and Millward Brown. They, they go really de details into understanding the consumers, profiling, and then there's a very uh, high level of product innovation. As you know, they pick brands from, uh, from Unilever like uh, Kimbo, Cowboy, mm -hmm. they bought out Elianto. So Elianto today has got market share of over 90%. Big success of beating the multinationals and taking market share from multinationals mm -hmm. and being a winning Kenyan organization which is recognized and has been awarded top five company in Africa. So, so, so the Bitcoin approach is all about innovation, about communication, about being aggressive and being strategic in all the executions. Mm -hmm. And then they've also got a great leader. I mean, Vimal will push, will push you. He's not going to make you reach the wall. He's going to climb the wall with you. So he's a leader who is very mm -hmm. dramatic in how he approaches the expansion of the business. So the marketers that uh, are coming into this organization like Bitco, like Safaricom, like breweries, like Kenya, was among the other big brands, they're all being transformed now into greater leaders. So I think uh, uh, coming into, into different organizations and, and, and your question about, about, uh, about different brands, the success all is about leadership. So I hope I'll be able mm. to, to, to answer okay. further as we go into other questions. Right, yeah. and exactly, uh, you know, what you've uh, given me the perspective there yeah. will lead me to my next question, which yeah. is, um, you know, can a market, marketer successfully yeah. go into a different profession, still within marketing, yes, yes and, you know, be able to, Excel. <laughs> well, that's a brilliant question. So I myself, my first degree was in finance and then I went into international marketing. The principles of marketing remain the same in any industry. So if you are 
growing from one uh, career, for example, finance into marketing, it's very possible because when you're doing your analysis, you're doing your budget, you'll be solid. If you are transforming, let's say, from uh, um, uh, FMCG model into an international model of marketing, the principles will remain the same. You've got to understand the 8P strategy. You've got to understand differentiation in your tools. You've got to do the McKinsey grids. So all your science and art of marketing in different industries, the principle remain the same. It will be a different product. It will be a different uh, service. But your consumers may be more B2B, more B2C. So you have to just transform your leadership, as I said earlier, into understanding the markets, mm -hmm. doing good research, coming out with a good strategic plan, and then executing on time. And Remy, the most important thing about marketers right. is execution. Mm -hmm. If you execute well, you do a well thought process, execute well, you'll be a great marketer. How about digital marketing, yes. right? Uh, there's so many things coming up these days that you have to keep up. If you're yeah. not tech savvy, then there's something definitely wrong with you. Because look at all the online platforms you have, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, whatnot. You know, our website left, right and center that are now coming up to say, okay, fine, you can get your blog within your, you know, you know, with this website and create A, B, C, D. So how important is it to make sure that as a marketer anyway, you are tech savvy, you know what's up, you know what's happening internationally and locally, and you have your information on your fingertips? I think that's a very strategic question and you mm -hmm. might have you might have answered it yourself oh, because, okay. <laughs> because <laughs> what is most important yeah. is that when you're doing global marketing and I mm -hmm. think the internet and, 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 and the digital opportunities that are coming into Africa and connecting Africa into the world and the world is be able to access all the information about, about your product and your services within seconds and you can have a conversation on Twitter and you can you, you can have much more social engagements. So the being savvy is not really the word. It's engaging, having conversations about your brand, positioning your brand, and actually giving a high level of excellence because you fall short of any, any level of excellence. The customers have a solid live uh, communication to complain. And that's why you have to react faster. And, uh, and the most important thing is that we have digital programs in our marketing uh, qualifications to train people to be experts in digital. It's not difficult, it's easy. Once you begin, once you're certified, you begin to look at the business from what the global pra best practice is. You begin to see what other brands are. You start having uh, global ratings about how your brand should operate. And then you understand the comp competition by analyz analyzing your, what your competition is doing. Then you build a great strategy around your digital marketing. And digital marketing, you can reach millions of customers very quickly at a much low cost and you can speak to them in many different languages. And this is all about global marketing, is that you use, you use the digital platform to be able to send consistent messaging to all your consumers across the world, and okay. especially around international marketing, like for the airlines or for Kenya as a country, mm -hmm. I think digital marketing is going to be a business. And to be very honest and transparent and be an open book in everything you do, so that people trust you and relationships and, and networking goes really global and you build excitement and you get satisfaction working mm -hmm. and, 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 and having all these transactions with, with great people. Okay. Yeah. Right. So thank you very much you very for much. coming in, Mr. Diaz. We thank do you appreciate your, your sentiments on different matters, thank aspects, especially yeah. about marketing, telling us about, you know, how you deal with the whole aspect of being a marketing director at uh, Kenya Airways, yeah. well, while you're at Bidco, you know, brand Kenya, the whole thing. So Brilliant. thank you so much. We do appreciate you your sentiments much. today. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for yeah. coming. Thank you very much. Right. So our guest today has been Chris Diaz. He's a marketing director for Kenya Airways, giving us his perspective of marketing on how you're able to basically build a personal brand as a young person or whichever place you are or point you are in your career and also making sure that indeed uh, you know uh, whatever sector you're working in especially you know business sector marketing for that matter you're able to uh, you know market Kenya into a very uh, let me say beautiful uh, global destination be it the product or the people within it. So thank you so much for watching. Coming up shortly is Social Hour. Stay with us.